O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 38. In those days Hezekiah was stricken with a terminal illness. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, visited him and told him, This is what the Lord says. Give instructions to your household. For you are about to die, you will not get well. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Please, Lord, remember how I have served you faithfully and with wholehearted devotion, and how I have carried out your will. Then Hezekiah wept bitterly. The Lord told Isaiah, Go and tell Hezekiah, this is what the Lord God of your ancestor David says. 
I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Look, I will add fifteen years to your life and rescue you and this city from the king of Assyria. I will shield this city. Isaiah replied, This is your sign from the Lord confirming that the Lord will do what he has said. Look, I will make the shadow go back ten steps on the stairs of Ahaz. And then the shadow went back ten steps. But this is the prayer of King Hezekiah of Judah when he was sick and then recovered from his illness. I thought, in the middle of my life I must walk through the gates of shale. I am deprived of the rest of my years. I thought, I will no longer see the Lord in the land of the living. I will no longer look on humankind with the inhabitants of the world. My dwelling place is removed and taken away from me like a shepherd's tent. I rolled up my life like a weaver rolls cloth from the loom he cuts me off. You turn day into night and end my life. I cry out until morning, like a lion he shatters all my bones. You turn day into night and end my life. Like a swallow or a thrush I chirp, I coo like a dove. My eyes grow tired from looking up at the sky. O Sovereign Master, I am oppressed. Help me. What can I say? He has decreed and acted. I will walk slowly all my years, because I am overcome with grief. O Sovereign Master, your decrees can give men life. May years of life be restored to me. Restore my health and preserve my life. Look, the grief I experienced was for my benefit. You delivered me from the pit of oblivion, for you removed all my sins from your sight. Indeed, Sheol does not give you thanks. Death does not praise you. Those who descend into the pit do not anticipate your faithfulness. The living person, the living person, he gives you thanks, as I do today. A father tells his sons about your faithfulness. The Lord is about to deliver me, and we will celebrate with music for the rest of our lives in the Lord's temple. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 20. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the disciples had gathered together and locked the doors of the place because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Jesus came and stood among them, saying to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. Just as the Father has sent me, I also send you. And having said that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they are forgiven. If you retain anyone's sins, they are retained. Now, Thomas, the one called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he replied, Unless I see the wounds from the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the wounds from the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will never believe it. Eight days later, the disciples were again together in the house, and Thomas was with them. And although the doors were locked, Jesus came once more and stood among them, saying, Peace be with you. Then he turned to Thomas and said, Put your finger here and examine my wounds. Put out your hand and put it into my side. Do not continue in your unbelief, but believe. Thomas replied to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are the people who have not seen and yet have believed. Now Jesus performed many other miraculous signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are recorded, so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. The Collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance, to do always that which is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day, Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. 
Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour. Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.